All right, so we're going to look at the Ken Burns effect. Now, once again, double check. Go up here to your timeline. Make sure you're in the timeline advanced, the advanced editor. There's a lot more features you'll have if you're in that editor, such as the voiceover track, the audio. And I've dragged one of my photos down here to the timeline, the main line. Now, I can click on the little pencil here or right here. So I'm going to click on that pencil. And see you have a lot of editing options just for this one photo. So I could uh, scale it, so I could bring it in a little bit, or I could fit it to the frame. So I'm going to leave it fit to frame, and say I'm going to go back here and play it a little bit. So as you see, it's there, but say I want an even more dramatic effect. So I'm going to hit on the pencil, I'm going to hit animation, and now don't forget to use these little scroll bars. Now it's going to start, I can actually drag it back a little bit, so it actually starts there, and where I want it to end, if I drag it here, and I can take the little hand and, and actually move the picture down so it's right at his eyes, and then I hit done, um, and I bring this back here, and I'm going to hit play. See, see the effect it gives of just that photo? You can really get some dramatic effects by zooming into people's faces or a focus point on your photograph. So don't forget to use those. And, you know, don't be afraid when you click on the little edit. Look at these other options you have up here. The color and the brightness if you need to adjust. Again, the contrast of a photo or, or the brightness. So here's the contrast. Um, and, if, and don't forget, there's a little scroll down. There's, there's lots of options up there. So I'm going to um, hit done for that. And so that's the Ken Burns effect. If you have any questions, let me know um, and, and make good use of it.